Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be filming a skincare routine. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get on to the video. So, as you guys can probably tell, it's the end of the day because my makeup looks so crusty. Mm. So, obviously, we're going to have to take that off. So, I'm just going to tie back my hair and such. Um, and I'm going to be using the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish to take off my makeup, um, if I can find it. There. So, to take off my makeup, I'm going to be using the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish, and I've literally been using this for, like, years. Um, I either use this or micellar water, depends how my bank account is feeling. This is honestly so nice, like, it just melts off your makeup and you just put it on, like, dry skin like this. And it gets off waterproof makeup and everything. And then once it's all like smushed all over your face and you look like this, mm, attractive. You're just gonna wet a flannel with some warm water and scrub it all off basically. And it just gets off all the makeup. So now that all the makeup is off my skin, I would usually do like the next two steps in the shower or the bath or something like that. But I'm gonna, for the sake of this video, just do them standing here so obviously the next thing to do is to wash your face and i swear by this cetaphil cleanser it doesn't like lather very well but i promise you i've cleaned my whole face so i'm just gonna wash it off <laughs> so the next step is exfoliation and i'm gonna be using the teeny blends oh my there we go i'm gonna be using the teeny blends green tea facial scrub and it's my new favorite exfoliator honestly so like i i, got, I can't even explain it like i said this a couple videos ago but it's so like creamy and exfoliatory at the same time like i can't even describe it it's so lush okay so i've just washed all that off my skin my skin literally feels like so like smooth and like I don't know, bouncy, like youthful. Um, but yeah, I am actually gonna hop in the shower now because I do actually need a shower. So yeah, the next step I'm gonna have wet hair, but I will continue post shower. So yeah, I'm gonna try and do the jumping transition thing. I don't think it will work, but um, we can try. Anyways, we're back. We're clean, we're squeaky, squeaky clean. Yeah, face mask time. You guys already know I love Teamy Blends Green Tea Detox Mask. Oh no, my towel's falling. My towel's falling. I'm just gonna let it fall, I don't even care. Right, okay, you're gonna have to deal with my ratty hair. <laughs> so the Teamy Blends Scrub and um, Mask are the only two new things in my routine, right? And both my mum and my friends on our like girls group chat have noticed that my skin's just been glowier. So it must be done. It's a secret, don't tell anyone. And luckily enough for you guys, I do have a discount code, so I'm gonna put it on the screen now. I always feel so bougie when I say that. I am going to leave um, this Shrek mask on for like 10, 15 minutes and just let it tingle away at my skin and work its magic. Okie dokie doodle. So my face mask is all dry now. So I am just going to wash it off. Let's go. I just love that feeling of taking off like a face mask and your skin's all like fresh and it's just like. But as this video is an in-depth night routine, skincare thing, we're not finished there. We've still got some steps to go, ladies and gents. So. Love that I still have a massive lump of green face mask on my nose. Really, really good. Not to say not to say not to say. Pat on the back. So, of course, I'm using a reusable cotton pad. Um, and this is the toner I use. It's got a really cool applicator. I vibe with that. Um, it is the Vit C Radial Glow Tonic. It just feels all like fresh. And I do this like 
getting off like some of the excess face masks. Um, I do this sometimes just like throughout the day if I'm just like, I don't know, want to just freshen up my skin, you know what I mean? Right, okay, now it's moisture time, moisture o'clock. We're getting the moisture in our face. So, first thing I go in with is this Medicaid Super Vitamin C Serum thing. Um, or any face oil will do really. Um, but recently I've been enjoying this one. Okay, next we're doing eye cream and my eyes are like the worst put about my skin. Like they're just really sensitive and they get pretty dry. And right now I actually look really tired. I am really tired, but my eyes just get like puffy and like dark circles. So eye cream is very important for people like me. So I'm gonna go in with some eye cream. Um, my favorite one I've actually run out of that's the La Roche Posay one. I'm not French, don't know if that pronunciation's right, probably not, but oh well, we live, we thrive. Um, so right now I'm just using the Olay Eyes illuminating thing. And I always use this finger. I don't know why, I just read somewhere that it's like the best finger to rub in eye cream with, and I've just done it ever since. Don't know if that's right. Moisturizer of choice is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Love it, perfection, love it, expensive. Don't get me wrong, she's expensive, but she's also really nice. So, next thing I do is I grab this whopper of a bottle, like, she's not, like, bigger than my face, like, she's big. Um, but this is the Cetaphil, like, body lotion, and I'll just get, like, a small pump, like, about that much, and just rub it on my neck, just because the neck is the first sign of ageing, so I think it's so important to, like, just moisturise it properly and just, I don't know. Like, it's often forgotten about, and I just feel like we need to remember her, like, she's important. God, my hands are so, like, moisturiser, I can't <laughs> undo it. Um, but then I'll also go in with some lip balm. Um, oh my god, I actually can't, okay. Um, choice of the day is Sephora Exfoliating Lip Balm. But any lip balm will do. Any lip balm whatsoever. So yeah, that is pretty much my skincare routine. Um, there's a couple of things that I'll do right before bed, which is put Sudocrem on any spots. So I've got like a spot brewing right there. Which is annoying, I like there as well. Um, I think it's just from being cooped up indoors. And I'll also put some castor oil on my eyelashes just to help them grow because I've had eyelash extensions for like a year. Um, so my eyelashes aren't that bad, but they're still a little bit damaged. So I just put castor oil on my lashes. Um, but yeah, that's about it for now. I know this was a bit of a bit of a lengthy process, to say the very least, but it's fine. But yeah, that is my skincare routine. Go check out TV Blends, they're a banger. Um, if you've got any other questions, leave them in the comments down below. Follow my social medias, you know the drill. Um, I love you all millions and trillions, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!